So I am back with Formula One posters. I feel like my last one, I was pretty in my pocket, but then I looked back and said, that's a really bad pocket. I don't know. I'm glad you guys liked it though. But for me, I'm just looking for improvement every single time I do one of these posters. And hopefully you guys learn something along the way. So I was wondering if I took a really cool background asset, threw in like a really cool, super focused in driver and had a car in the foreground, where would that leave me? Cause I want to also make sure it's not just like basic and boring. I want to make sure I add in some assets. So let's just see what we end up doing. And do not forget guys to check out the everything pack, the first link in the description where you get all my 30 plus assets now on download and all future design products that I ever create ever free through email and or our exclusive discord. You can go ahead and just join that as well. We got these really cool people, all that good stuff. Like it's, it's a one-time purchase and you get all of my genuine knowledge of design asset creation, plus the stuff that I create for the future because I'm just a fan of value. So with that, let's just go in and hop in. So here is my inspo board. I have four of these pieces in which I pretty much liked a lot of things out of them. One over here, the sky looks just super sky and I just enjoyed it. Uh, I really enjoyed this sort of like, just again, I, I don't know, I think it's the sky, the colors, like the walking, the perspective felt really cool. This one here, the big helmet in the center just kind of felt really cool and I want to try that out. My myself uh with like i don't know about fire on the car but i would love to try but i know it's not going to work out for me because i suck with fire things and then this one over here just another good, just good composition i just want to i i wanted to put these on the on the canvas right because the real tldr of this is i want to make a poster that really feels like it competes with these mine don't really like my other, like here's here's my los angeles what was it las vegas design here and i think it looks okay but is it exactly what i was hoping for no so this one, I, I want to really just dig in. So you're in for a treat. So let's go ahead and start this thing off with like actually setting up this composition. So you kind of got the point in the start. So I want to say to myself, let's drag this first in. Now I'm actually really hoping here that what I have in my mind is going to work because for, for one, I might have to go into here and I might have to take all these people out. I'm and this is where I'm going to pray. Generative fill is going to work for me. So I'm going to right click generative fill. And I'm going to put remove people. I'm going to press generate. Please work. I mean, this is not bad. That's pretty decent. I can go again if I need to for sure. But if I combine this over and just do it one more time, I feel like I'd be good. Hey, that's pretty good. Okay. Look at that. I mean, that's pretty decent. Like I'm, I'm very, I think the road there probably works the best. Look at that. So now I got a nice clean photo. I'm going to start throwing in some of the stuff that I know was going to be in the composition, obviously. So we have uh, the player helmet photo, got the driver all cut out. Let's get this actual cars also cut out. I'm really praying that I can make this like really orange, which I'm sure I can, but there's, there's just this weird doubt in my head that's just saying no, but like, we'll see. I will also put this out here. I think Photoshop designers probably have the best aim in every FPS on the planet, just strictly because of their pen tool accuracy, their brush accuracy. Look at me, look at me, hold on, look, watch this. <clears throat> I'll do this in one swipe. Ready for this? Mm. Oh, shh. I swear there's like a crumb under my mouse. Okay. And obviously the car is going to go in the foreground somewhere over here. We're going to have this guy somewhere like there. What is that? Is that part of the helmet? I don't feel like I'm going to put that there. Like, I don't know what that is and I don't want it there. So I'm going to just choose to say no. I have this asset here that I can just go ahead and place just to kind of be in the background somewhere. I was hoping, oh, I might have to cut this thing out too, though. Oh no. Now it's cut out. That was not long whatsoever. Oh no, the middle of my <laughs> Oh my, look at this, look at the crowns. I even cut out the crowns, they're not perfect, but they're pretty decent, okay? That's some pretty decent pen tooling job. All that, just to tell you guys, what I'm considering is uh, when this gets pen tooled out, it's like this side of this wall is gonna be attached to this if we color match it, and it might look pretty decent. All right, now hear me out. Let's try that out first, Let's get a nice little pen tool again. You know, what's, what's better? This video would be five hours long, by the way, if you had to watch any pen tool stuff. So now that I think of it though, it's probably not gonna work out given the fact that if I even put this here, there's not enough like curve. If I, if it's there, the car is here, it's not working out the way I'm hoping. So maybe there's a better photo. And we're gonna look for the same sort of pillar idea. So it's something like this, but not quite. Oh, I passed one right here. This will work. See now at this angle, if I made this pretty big, we can get this car to actually sit there pretty well. So let's go ahead and get this cut out. Okay, so now that I have it, I can take this. Let's go ahead and make this nice and big. And whether or not it's here is a question, I'm not sure. 
it could be. I'm gonna have to, of course, fix this a lot because I want to like have this transition look pretty decent. It's not like quite there yet. And also I don't really know if it should be like the entire floor or if this should be the floor, if I add in something else for that. But the idea is if I match this color of the brick, which I can try to do real quick, let's try to do like a color balance and like go into it and kind of see if I can match it, something like this. So it'd have to be more red, a little bit of like a pinkish magenta in there. Maybe need to add a little bit of, uh, what do you call it? Like a contrast, all that good stuff. Let's try to use like camera off filter first. Like should it be like red like this? Should I use like a little bit of noise reduction to get rid of a lot of this noise that's going on here? Then use sharpen to kind of figure out if that'll help out. So it's not quite there. It needs to be way more red, maybe a little bit less on the illuminance of red as well. So let's try like luminance down. Let's try a little bit more hue. And if this doesn't work, I think color balance was working out pretty well for us. I could use a little bit of this. It's not gonna be pretty though, but it's not like a star center element. It's just a little bit of context and fun. So this could work. Let's try to use color balance to kind of figure out the rest of this though. That could work out. Now, honestly, the transition between here and here is gonna be the most like awkward part. Like my first thought is to do something like this. Now my first thought could work out in our favor here. Let me not even use the pen tool. I'm gonna actually type in like formula one track and let's just, that gives you an idea of where I'm going with this. I mean, at this point, it doesn't even matter that you know, I'm looking for this out of bounds thing. This could be super cool and it could look really good if I can get one at the correct angle. Finding my angle is gonna be like treacherously bad. And I'm not I'm not like a Formula One like creator, so I have no idea if there's like an easy place to find this kind of stuff. But I'll tell you what, I ain't having a lot of success right now. So the only other thing I could do is probably pen tool it out, which is not what I wanna do, but I, I let's try, okay? So let's just say, boom, the curve is coming over here. Let's get a good enough angle at it that it kind of looks something like this. This might need to go inward. So it kind of shows some kind of perspective of something. You can tell I have no way. I'm just, I'm just gonna go for it. Now let's just, let's pretend for a second. This is white. Okay, and now that this is white, what happens now? I'll warp it just a little bit over here. I'll just go ahead and use the rectangle tool make this very much so very bright red and then just duplicate it over a few times and with this group i'll just make it a smart object because why not we're going to clip mask it also do this white and now let's just see what happens if i just took this distorted this and like move this over this way i might have to use like actual distort as well that's actually really not bad now if i take like let's just say another layer on top of it let's use like a black okay let's be like a shadow right we're gonna do this we're gonna do this little bit of shadow like a 50 percent opacity brush and kind of just paint ourselves I, I, something <laughs> I just feel like I have to paint something. You know what I mean? Like it, there's shadows obviously in the floor. So I, I there's gotta be something I gotta paint. Like what if I just paint in these shadows like this? You know what I mean? Like to kind of match this right here, you know? So it's a little bit something like that, okay? Now the bumps, the bumps, well, how can we do the bumps? For the bumps, we might be able to actually use this same copy of all these different things, right? But this time we can make it pretty skinny then give ourselves another, like a bunch of them on like a not more duplicates like this, okay? Then we can take all of these, let's turn the fills off on all of them, do a little inner shadow action. I'll just do all this down, a little bit of inner shadow, a little bit of like something like this. And then I'll take this same exact layer style and put it on all these other things. So I got something like this. All right, follow, follow, take a duplicate of this just in case. We'll do a nice little convert to smart object. And then we'll take this, clip and mask this, and do a nice little distortion again. Honestly, it needs, I think it needs to be way more because it's actually not bad. It's just not enough. So here's the thing, right? That's okay because we're always gonna have the person in the background too. We haven't put him in yet. So he's gonna be like right around here somewhere. He can cover up a lot of this, right? Like cover this up like so. That we can have him like sitting right there. How is he gonna just be blended though? Even if I put this here, there's obviously something missing, right? Surely there's something missing because for one, we don't have the text in here. Where's the text gonna be like Lando should probably sit. Just sit like right here somewhere, somewhere like this. And then we'll just put Norris. God, I really do love font shelf. If shout out font, if you don't have it yet, trust me, if you if you have a lot of fonts, group your fonts with font shelf. I don't wanna be a self plug promo on every single one of my videos, but I did, I did do it for you guys, I'm just saying. So that can like sit like this. Maybe we can have like the VA spacing be like super, super wide and all that good stuff, right? Like give it a little bit more like Spain vibe somehow. I don't know why like, like this makes me feel like I'm in Spain. I haven't even been to Spain. There's something missing on the left hand side. And I'm thinking if we already have like this like border 
like out of bounds thing. Maybe I'm gonna put a fence, okay? I think I found a pretty good perspective here on this fence. Like if I just kind of quickly erase it, just to kind of check real quick. Right, and we were to place this like right behind this car. That's pretty decent. Like where does the fence end? Who cares, right? It just ends right there. And then the tough part is how do I cut this out? I don't think I've ever had to cut out a fence in my life. And I think this might be the only time. I can start with the top really quickly to get the idea. And if I do this all the way through, it's, I, it's gotta be worth it. It's gotta be worth it, right? Surely. I just spent 30 minutes cutting out this fence. That's a good looking fence. Oh my, could you imagine a world? Oh my God, that is so satisfying. Let's bring this in. Let's sit it down right here. You want me to be like really honest? Is it worth it? Yes. Does it solve my problem though? Since this is transparent fence. Like I still got people back here. I gotta figure out what actually still goes here. I didn't waste my time. I'm not. Okay, so that looks good. Let's just like put some effort towards some shadows real quick. I mean, I suck at them, but I do have some shadow brushes, shadow everything pack that I can try to see if it's gonna help me out here for a second. Like it's gonna be real dark here for sure. Kind of looks something like that for now, which doesn't look too bad. Then let's also just go on the car itself. Maybe this could help pick a brush, like a nice black brush. We'll put it at like 70% opacity or so and get real close down here and just make sure we ground this object just like that, boom. Same thing with this. That tire is touching the floor, no doubt about it. Like that feels pretty okay. Now I can get even like further into this. Maybe I, first off, let's get a little color correction going. I feel as if I've been designing for about four hours cause I've just been cutting a bunch of stuff out, but I haven't made much progress. Okay, so I gotta, I gotta relock in cause this ain't gonna be that easy. But I can get this orange to pop a little bit more, which is pretty good. Let's get some sharpening going for a little, a uh, little bit over here. That feels pretty good. Maybe there's like a shadow on the wall. Let's try that. Let's put a little bit of shadow on the wall, like where the, where the tire is. It's so close. Now I'm wondering if I can actually counter this idea, like this space being over here just feels really bad. So if I made Lando on the back big enough, right? The hand feels little out there, obviously, because it is. If I were to erase this, right? Let's just kind of erase it. That kind of works. Like we can hide a lot of the BS. Oh, well, we can literally hide it. Like just in case anyone just somehow magically gets rid of my, the word Lando in here. I'll just say, boom, no matter what you say, that's, that's pretty good. Now this part over here, let's probably just erase this to like get rid of this whole, this whole headache real quick. So now it just leaves us with a blank spot, which is a lot easier to handle. We can put in any pavement there quite literally at all. So we can just maybe even take the copy of this real quick and just use this pavement to kind of feel like some extra something over there that like there's at least some kind of horizon line happening. I want to get a sky in here too because I, I honestly I really, 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 really enjoy the sky that's here. And honestly, I, the building context as well might be a play. Does that look, that kind of gives, that's, that's not bad. Let's just go over here for a second and just add some shadows to this though. Cause I think the fence itself feels like it needs a little bit of something like a little bit of depth. It kind of just feels like a photo just there. Right now I'm feeling like we need a little bit of color correction on the fence. We need to do a little bit of like a hue, like just maybe like an orangey bluish, like dope hue. That's like the, this photo picture s Renaissance s color that's going on in the background. Maybe the same thing on the car itself. The white, we shouldn't use pure white. We should use like a blue hue tone on that as well. There's a lot of things I can do. There's also type texture, right? This is for the 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 Spain like GP, right? So the race is actually going to be the, the day this video comes out in the morning, but this is going to be for the circuit day Barcelona, right? The Spanish Grand Prix. OK, that one person that comment, I don't want to say pre relax. Also, is this orange on his jacket supposed to be the same as his car? But I feel like I want to match the orange at least. I'm going to do that. I still think the tire tend to be like a little bit more grounded. Just want to make sure this feels like it's definitely under the car. Again, I'm not some kind of lighting artist or like a I have a drawing back or anything like that. I don't. I wish I did. Something like that feels good to me. How can I make Lando in the back come out? So the obvious thing is that I can do is I can just kind of take an orange, whatever, click in the back a few times. Right, and then just add a little bit of glow like this. I'm gonna have to do this a few times though. My question is though, is does that look good? I mean, it kind of does. And if I do this little orange light, I can go back onto him himself, right? And just do a nice little rim light real quick for myself. Adding the light where it should hit kind of puts emphasis that there is a little small light in the background, but it's just not like yelling at you as much as possible. It's pretty, it's pretty out there, but it's not like crazy where it could be like this 
or even worse like this or just feels like yes is that good why'd i do that oh no is this good i don't know but i i like that the separation but i also really enjoy the flatness of this is that it's not flat I enjoy like the painterly-esque, that's, that, that, how do I put this into words without sounding like I just, I'm just an idiot. Someone out there who knows manipulation, please give me a detailed explanation on where I went wrong on this car. Cause I know I'm wrong on this car. I feel like someone out there can help me. Then that person in turn helps you. And then maybe for like the back of this, it kind of feels like there's a glow already happening, but I'm going to take this and kind of actually add for some reason, like a little bit of a glow. What about a shadow instead in front of it? Like something like that, or should it be even more blurred? Like, I'm not sure if I, if I quite like that more than just like using like a black brush, right? Very, very very, very subtle, which looks really good in my opinion still. For the culture, let's also throw in a Formula One logo. I feel like it always looks a little bit more official, but for some reason, right dead smack in the middle feels pretty cool. And this car is annoying me. There's something so wrong with it. Like, does that look cool? Like I might not actually commit to it just in case someone goes, it was so perfect until you put the Formula One logo there. Sure, this car is tilting me, so I'm gonna try something really quick. There's something wrong, and I don't know how to fix it. So I'm gonna say maybe it just needs more shadow of some sort. And what if I took this and just added some lines like this, okay? Does it kind of help? Like there's something over and kind of helping grounding it. So it not just feel, it doesn't feel like just there when there's obviously shadows here. That kind of feels good. Do I wanna add like a random bird? You know, like right here, but I feel like some birds could be kind of lit. I do feel like there's just something else missing. Like that's like very much so Spain. Now bear with me for a second. This is Spain to a T, it's very Spanish. So if I took this arch, so I'll get rid of the inside for now. Maybe I'll get rid of all of this other stuff too. I mean, it's just so funny the way that is just like that. And it's like a little frame, but we're gonna blur this. Not like too much where you can't tell that it's like an arch. And then the question is, does it restrict our frame at all? What if it's like suggested where it's not even there? What's the point at that point? I mean, there's gonna be a few of you that are gonna say, I like it. There's gonna be a few of you that say, I don't like it, but I'll be very honest, I don't like it immediately. But I feel like it does add this texture and a personality that does work, but probably not. Does it feel like it at least belongs a little bit? Now, I'm not talking like the actual like dark tones of it. It's not like my style, but I'm talking about like how much is going on. He added planes, surely he added this. He then, whatever they were, they added planes. I added birds. I feel like it's definitely uniquely, like definitely in my style, my tone. I think it, I, I think it, yeah, I think it belongs. So with that, can I say confidently, this is my best sports poster yet? I mean, the, the fence carries, okay? I'm really proud of it. So let me know how you guys actually feel about it and all that good stuff. I might tweak it just a little bit more, but here of course is the final up close and personal. I think the beautiful sky, the actual structure in the background, Lando kind of sitting front and center. In a way there's just like, is, is there an issue with hierarchy here? Not quite, it's like a full picture I would say, but I've spent just around two hours on this design and an hour, and <laughs> generally an hour of this was cutting this and everything out. So I'm pretty excited about it. With that, Sesso HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking brother, guys. Let him much love, peace. And I just feel like Formula One, I'm in my pocket with these posters. And hopefully you guys feel the same. So anyway, enjoy your week. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Later.